Hey, what's up? This is uh, B Rent, but you already know that because you're me. Uh, this is a weird video for people that aren't me, you know? It's one of those, like, I, I want to do, like, a time capsule type thing where I talk to myself in, like, a year. I talk to myself from the future, like, hey, how are you doing in a year? You know, that type of shit. Uh, so, yeah, um, for people watching, you can watch it if you want. I don't mind, but, yeah, this isn't going to be an entertaining video, but it's one I wanted to make, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, regardless, I'm going to, like, talk about where I am where I am now and where I would like to be and my goals and stuff like that. Don't hold me to any of my goals. Like, don't use this video against me to be like, oh, you were going to do this or something like that because, you know, things happen. You know, things change, things happen. Um, I'm only human. This is just kind of aspirations, not even, like, things that are set in stone. So, um, yeah, this is... And I don't know whether... I don't even know if I'm going to upload this on the day I record it, which is, like, the 15th of October. October 15th, 2021 is today's date. Um, yeah, so... Let's get started. Where am I now? Uh, <laughs> fuck. Well, funny story. Um, it's almost been two months since the big breakup, um, which sucks, but I'm getting over it, and I don't want to talk too personally about it uh, for anyone involved or anything, uh, anyone that knows. This is just me talking to myself in the future. I'm not trying to like bring up anything or you know, change anything or make anyone feel a certain type of way. It just, it's a time capsule. Like, this is a big thing that's happened to me. And I'm, I'm starting to get over it. I'm starting to, like, finally move on. Like, it definitely is. It, it sucks. Like, a lot of the things involved sucks, you know. But it's starting to get easier, you know. And future me, I'm sure you know why. <laughs> Uh, it's starting to get easier, and I'm starting to get over it, and I've had a really good support system to help me out with a lot of these things, and it's been nice, you know, it's, I've had a vice now, which is cool, like, music has always been my hobby, you know, music has always been, like, my dream, my aspiration, but now I feel like music is what's, like, grounding me, you know, it's what's keeping me I don't want to say sane because I could do fine without it, but it's it's definitely like it's it is therapy. Like I'm able to whether I talk about my problems or not, or if I just talk about how cool I am and how many bitches I get when I get no bitches, you know whether I, like whether I do any of that, it's like it's still there for me and it's still really cool and. It's been nice to have the support system. Like, me and Max linked up in the studio, you know? And Max has been, like, one of my best friends. Or, like, just closest homies, dude, for, like, years. For, since I'm 21 now. Since I was, like, 16, 17. Like, 17, I would say. Me and him have been friends. Back when we were working at Dairy Queen. We are flipping patties in the Dairy Queen. Like, we were both working in the kitchen he would always just tell me about random stuff. Like, he would always, like, just talk about the randomest things. And it would just be fun. And we'd be in the back flipping patties and spitting bars. And he's really what got, like, I was into rap before. I liked rap. Like, I was big into Eminem, obviously. And I'd already started to, like, dive deeper into a little of that. But back then, it was my phase of only listening to Eminem, like, Two, three years straight, I swear to God, I only listened to Eminem. Like, it was insane. It was insane. I wish I had the stats, but I didn't have streaming services back then. So, don't have the stats of how many songs I listened to. But back on topic, like, it sounds like I'm giving my life story, but I guess I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, Yeah, me and Max were just like... Sit bars, he's what got me into like recording music. Like, he's the one that made me want to write instead of just listen. Like, we would sit bars and I would have fun. I'd be like, 
I do want to do music. And, like, fast forward, I have my name on a T-shirt. Like, this is insane. Like, it's it's not like some big company reached out to me and I'm doing merch now. It's like anyone can do this. So it's not like it's special. Anyone can commission a logo. Anyone can, you know, go make just, you know, like make made-to-order T-shirts. Like, anyone can do it. But it's still just cool. I have my name on a T-shirt, man. All from me just, like, being bored at work and Dairy Queen, spitting bars with Max, trying to pass the time, and now this is happening, and I'm working on an EP that's, like, almost done. Like, dude, in a year, future Brent, man, literally, like, you'll live in a time where your EP is out. Like, how is that, man? Maybe the second EP, dude, like, because we both know, we both know what's cooking, Third EP, I don't even know. I've been making music. That's all I'm gonna say is I've been, I've been in the studio. I've been cooking, but it's crazy. Now I have an EP coming out that's being recorded at a studio. But one of my good friends, Chris Carswell, like I would say he's a homie by now. Like just going to his studio, hanging out with him and Max, and Max going in there recording, like. Me and Max cook something up that is going to be hype when it drops. And just, like, everything else, like, that's been so fun. Like, it's been so cool to, like, have that now. To go from flipping patties and spitting bars to, like, have this. And it's, like, not like I'm famous or anything. But I still feel like I have a small little, like, thing in my life now that's starting to be something. You know, like, it's starting to become something and I'm just really excited about it like it's felt so cool to have something to look forward to after all this and everything and even things I'm not talking about right now just personal things of feeling depressed and things besides love and relationships and things like that that have been going on in my life and just things besides all that that I'm not going to talk about. Just all that, like, weighing on me and being an adult now. And, like, dude, I got a tattoo the other day. Like, it's insane. Like, look, Star Wars, dude, it's awesome. Tattoo reveal, am I right? Now, if you see a body on the street, you know, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. But it's insane, man. Or if I commit a crime. Here now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys see it now. If I commit a crime and dude's got the Star Wars tattoo, I'm the culprit. <laughs> what if I get mixed up in something? That's gonna eat me in the ass later. But no, I'm not a criminal. Either way, <laughs> but like becoming an adult and dealing with all that and doing adult things, like it's it's been so cool to have this outlet of music and to just vibe and relax, man. It just felt so nice. Like, there's not a lot of pressure for me when it comes to making music. Like, there is in terms of, like, I do want to blow and I want people to, like, like my shit. But I've had to just accept that I'm not going to make bangers right now. Like, I'm not going to make songs that are going on the billboard. You know? Like... So, while I still want them to be as good as they can be, like, I'm not saying I'm going to just one take it and move on. Like, I'm going to do multiple takes and to make it as good as it can be. But I've had to learn. It's like, I haven't dropped music in forever. Like, I have one song that, I, like, actual song that I've sat and finished, Homie Freestyle. But then I just n- canceled the upload to Spotify because it was like, it's not good. It's not good. I need to finish it. So, I have nothing on streaming right now. Because, like, I've always been a person that's, like, it needs to be perfect. Like, I'm always imagining that hip-hop Twitter is going to be listening to my shit and critiquing me. Which is true, because I've started to, like, make some really cool friends on hip-hop Twitter, which is great. So, like, I'm sure if I drop shit, they would listen to it to see, like, you know, what's up. And I'm going to get their opinion. I'm probably not going to like it. But I've learned to just grow and, uh, and accept that. And accept that it's not always going to be good. In my head, it's like, 
I'm not going to drop something that I know is trash, but at the same time, I'll drop it and be like, I know I could do better, but I don't have the ability to right now, you know? And I've learned to accept that that's okay because every artist starts out dropping shit that isn't good, you know? Like, all these artists right now aren't getting airplay off of their shitty songs when they were, like, 19, like, most of them. It's all the new ones. I feel they've grown and they've improved and things like that. So I'm starting to drop and accept that. And I like what I'm making right now. I really do. So I'm really excited for the future. I really am. Like, I'm actually really excited. Even though I'm nervous for people to hear it and critique it and hip-hop Twitter to get a hold of it and things like that. But I'm excited. I really am. I have something to look forward to, and it feels really good. Like, I'm in a bad place, like, emotion-wise, but I'm starting to, like, get better and accept things. And it's been nice to have this platform and this outlet for everything. So I've said it a million times, but it's just fun. It's fun to do music, and I'm having a good time with it, trying to move on from everything. So... Yeah, I guess all I can say is, like, in a year, if we're talking emotionally, like, I do hope in a year that I've, like, fully become a new person. And I feel like the metamorphosis is already happening, as cringy as that may sound. Like, I feel like it's already kind of happening, and I'm becoming a better version of myself. And I hope that's kind of finished in a year, you know? Like, I do hope... I've started to evolve and become a person I can really be proud of. Like, I'm starting to really enjoy the person I have been becoming lately. All these hardships thrown my way have made me realize the version of myself that I really enjoy and what I wasn't doing in the past that led to all these things. And realizing, like, yeah, I didn't like that I wasn't doing these things either. And I want to be the person people wished I was. I want to be that person. I want to be better than they wished I was and it's been nice you know it has been cool and I'm hoping in a year that I've fully adopted that personality and become like I don't say become self-sufficient because I can get by on my own but just become like someone that's like fully like independent like and I don't even mean musically wise because like I have my homies that help me out with stuff and like I'll always be able to get you know, advice for my friends and stuff like that, but I don't know, and there's been, like, one thing I didn't talk about, it's, like, I've also been hanging out with, like, one of my good friends, Chris, like, the rapper Diamond, if anyone knows, go listen to his shit on SoundCloud, link in description, but I've been hanging out with him, and it's been so fun to see, like, his family and everything, and, like, hang out with him, and, like, just talk about music, or, like, spit some bars we have laying around, like, it's been so nice to go visit him. And it's been so fun to, like, like anticipate the call of him being like, hey, you want to drive up here? And I'll be like, yeah, let's fucking go, dude. Like, because I've just been enjoying that so much. I've been having so fun seeing him. Like, having so much fun seeing him again. I haven't I hadn't seen him in, like, a year or so, dude. It had been a little bit when I was dealing with a bunch of other stuff. And I was in different places and things like that. And now I'm finally back in the veil, chilling. And all that, and it's just been fun, you know? It's been kind of fun. And I've enjoyed having these friends in my circle that are able to help me with this kind of stuff and just have people to vibe and chill with and make music with because music is therapy for me and a lot of my friends. Like, it's like, even if I hang out with friends, it's like, doesn't mean we're gonna put a song out together, but just spitting bars and just like, Going through, like, show me, hey, show me what you got. Hey, what have you been working on? And things like that. It's just been so nice. Just freestyling a little bit, off the cuff, you know, reading out the book of rhymes and shit like that. And it's been so nice. Even, like, hearing Chris, like, tell me, like, dude, you've grown so much. And, like, hearing him tell me, like, your shit was ass back then, to be honest. But, like, you're really fucking good now. Like, not to, like, hype my ego up or anything, but... It's been really cool to hear that, to hear people, like, acknowledge, like, the work I've put into this. Like, I'm not great. 
I'm not amazing. I'm not that good. But to hear people say like, dude, like this song that you have just sitting in the sitting in the vault right now is like the best shit you've done so far. Like I fuck with this. Hearing people say like I would listen to this has made me feel so good, man. It's been dope as fuck, and I've really enjoyed it. So to wrap up this long video, I guess we'll talk about my goals. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say because I don't want to just be like, yeah, I want, I hope I get 10,000 streams at the end of the year. Get me those streams, baby. Like, <laughs> like that's not at all what I'm trying to say or want to say. These are just things I want to push myself to do. And if they don't happen, they don't happen. I'm not even a guy that's, like, so focused on numbers. And when I say, like, I want this many fans, I don't just mean, like, a number. Like, I like interacting with people. I really do. So if I say I want 100 followers, I want 100 people I can talk to and get to know and build interactions with. Because that's, like, ugh, excuse me. That's the type of person I am. Like, I love interacting with people. Like, I've been making friends on, like, hip-hop Twitter. It's been fun. It's been so fun. Because I'm not thinking about, like, oh, this is another follower, another person that can listen to my shit. Like, no. It's fun to log on to the app and have these people to interact with and talk to and just make stupid jokes. Like, I love getting on Twitter and fucking making stupid-ass jokes that two people like. Because it's just fun. It's been fun. So, I, th I would like to push myself to try to get, like, a thousand streams by the end of 2022. I think that could be cool. The ultimate goal is being able to quit my job at the end of the year. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, I'm making $10,000. Like, I would do that for less. If I had enough to pay my bills for, like, a year, I would do it, to be honest with you. <laughs> so, buy a t-shirt. Buy a t <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh... But, I mean, that's the ultimate goal that's not going to happen. I'm aware of that. But, like, that's, like, the goal. Like, that's, like, work as hard as you can to see if that can happen type thing. Like, that's the end game. That's the end game. That's the bust my ass and maybe this will happen. But a thousand streams by the end of the year I think would be cool. I think I can, like, push myself to maybe do that, you know. Get a couple hundred monthly listeners. Dropping things monthly. Every two weeks, maybe. That could be cool. But I think, like, my big goal is I want to build more relations with people, more relationships, more connections, and things like that. Like, I don't just mean I want an artist, you know? I want someone to do this for me. Like, I want people that I could be friends with and also do different things with, you know? Like, it's all about, like, giving getting, you know? It's like, if someone... Would be like, hey, I'll draw you this if you help me with this beat. Or, like, you do something that you're good at. Or, like, you're good at, like, technology. Come help fix my computer. <laughs> or something like that. You really like Legos. Help me figure out which set I have. Rebuild my sets. Or if you like Star Wars, you know, teach me the Star Wars thing. Like, something like that. Being able to use my skills to help someone else and then they could like use their skills to help me like I want to build connections and friendships with people even if I like become friends with a really good artist and they never make me art like I, I'm cool with that because I, I do want to build like really good friendships with people genuinely like genuinely I think it'd be cool to have more friends more internet friends more people in my circle more people in the B rent circle because I like collaborating I like working with people I want to be independent in terms of, like, labels. Like, I don't want to be in a label, but I don't want to be fully independent. Like, I want to have people that are Team b Red, Team b Red, let's go. But people that just help me with stuff, and I help them with stuff. And, like, we're all family. We're all team. Like, that's what I want. I love collaborating with people. Like, I was just trying to record something in here, and I was like, well, I have sessions booked in December for the stew, but let me just drop a track right now. And I couldn't do it. It was so hard because, like, after being in the studio, I love just being able to be in the booth and be like, all right, run that back, run that back, you know, stitch in, punch in from here. Or like, and just being able to, like, go back in the room and be like, hey, do you think that sounds good? Because, like, I'm not a person that's like, this is good, drop it. Or, like, oh, you're an engineer. You don't get an opinion. Like, no. Like, I like asking the people I'm working with, like, is this good? 
you know like <laughs> please tell me is it good is it not how do i fix it like I, I like collaborating with people i really do i don't want people that like as much as it it still hurts to hear that my baby sucks like i want people to tell me like hey hey chief like this isn't good <laughs> hey chief this is kind of ass you know, and just tell me how to fix it. Like, that's that's the type of stuff I like. So, long story short, I want to build connections. I hope I have, like, some good friends by the end of 2022. I guess I would like to have a few thousand streams. I think that could be cool. And just some people I can interact with. Some people that really do fuck with my shit and like me and my story and things like that. That's all I can ask for. That's all I can hope for. So... I guess that's it. Um, maybe I'll do this again next year. Maybe I'll do it for five years next time. Maybe I'll keep doing it for a year and see where we can go. Um, Jack Harlow collab this year? <laughs> but, but maybe? But maybe? Uh, yeah. Um, buy the shirt. Buy the shirt. I'm just fucking with you. Unless... <laughs> But, no, uh, if you're watching this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for sticking along for this long, just hearing me ramble about stupid shit when I'm talking to myself. Um, I appreciate that. If you guys like the music, I mean so much to me. Like, it genuinely does. And I appreciate anyone that takes the time to fuck with my shit or leave a comment or constructive criticism. Or just tell me I'm doing good or things like that. Like, I appreciate anyone that takes the time to do any of that stuff. I would like to do more videos. Like, I don't, I'm scared of it because I don't want to be a YouTube rapper. Even though, like, I do think a lot of those guys work so hard and they don't get credited. I'm glad Token got out of that, is able to shed that. There's people that know Token just for rapping now. Quadeca is starting to break out of it, I think. So, I'm glad some people are starting to break out of it, but I do hate that a lot of these guys like get labeled as that for the rest of their careers. But it is like it's still scary. Like I don't want to be that. But I don't mind uploading a video every once in a while just like talking to you guys or talking about my opinions. Like I don't want to do reaction videos. I might every once in a while, but if I just bring out a video talking about my thoughts on something hope I don't get labeled as a YouTube rapper because my music is always front and center and it's the thing I am putting the most time into. But I think if I just put videos out talking, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I don't get labeled that way. But it is what it is. Labels are stupid and they don't really mean anything. I mean, even Dax is getting labeled as a rapper now, which is good for him, you know? I've always thought I was a YouTube rapper. Now people are like, oh, that's Dak. He's a rapper. So that's good. He had a Tech 9 feature. So good for him, man. That's great. Um, but yeah, long story short, I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm so bad about rambling. I never know when to finish. I just like talking so much. Speaking of that, I would like to stream sometime. I'm debating like trying to set up like stew streams where I go in the stew and I just live stream and things like that. I would like to do that because I think that'd be really fun. I love talking. I love interacting with people. I think that'd be dope. But no promises. But if that happens, you know where it came from. Uh, yeah, this has been B Rent, B Renticles, signing out. <laughs> that was so bad. Uh, I love you. Uh, I love you too, B Rent. Brent from the future. 22-year-old Brent. This is 21-year-old Brent signing out. Bazinga. <laughs> I just said Bazinga. <laughs>